Wondering which Android emulator truly shines in 2025? I've tested dozens on everything from low-end PCs to high-end rigs, running shooters, racing games, and heavy apps to find the ones that actually deliver performance. After benchmarking COD Mobile, PUBG Mobile, Warzone Mobile, and NFS, these emulators stand out. Let's start with the most played emulator, BlueStacks. It runs on Android 11 and Android 13, giving it excellent compatibility with modern apps right from the start. It continues to lead as the most balanced and polished emulator overall. Its AI-based optimization, smart RAM management, and refined key mapping system give it a noticeable edge. Free Fire, Asphalt 9, and EA Sports FC Mobile run consistently smooth, and most of the games perform better than on most emulators thanks to BlueStack's optimized Vulkan engine. Racing games like NFS also benefit from stable frame pacing, making BlueStacks the safest all-rounder for any PC setup. Next up, the very fast, light, and optimized emulator, LD Player 9. It runs on Android 9, with an Android 11 variant also available, offering solid compatibility and performance across modern games. If your priority is raw FPS and responsiveness, LD Player is the speed king. Its lightweight engine boots fast, uses minimal resources, and delivers some of the highest frame rates in shooter games. Optimization modules improve aiming response and touch simulation in Roblox, Free Fire Max, and Mobile Legends. PUBG Mobile is demanding, but LD Player still offers smoother movement on mid-range hardware. NFS also runs with virtually no input delay, making LD Player a top pick for competitive players. Moo Moo Player is built on a highly optimized Android 9 engine, designed to perform well even on weak hardware. Its efficient system and ultra-low memory mode keep RAM usage low, making it the best choice for low-spec PCs. Moo Moo Player is equipped with intelligent frame interpolation technology, allowing games to surpass their native FPS limits, reaching up to 240 FPS for greatly improved smoothness. Racing Master, Clash of Clans, and Pokemon Go remain stable on entry-level CPUs or integrated graphics. Moo Moo squeezes the most out of older systems. NFS and other racing games enjoy stable performance thanks to strong frame pacing. MSI App Player is specially optimized for gaming performance on Windows PCs, particularly MSI systems. Running on Android 11, it ensures excellent compatibility with modern games. Its standout feature is hardware-level optimization, which delivers stable FPS lower input latency, and smoother GPU usage. Free Fire and Asphalt 9 run consistently with minimal frame drops. Racing games like NFS benefit from solid frame pacing and responsive controls. MSI App Player is ideal for gamers who want reliable performance without needing to tweak settings. Game Loop runs on a modern Android 11 environment tailored specifically for FPS titles. Built with competitive shooters in mind, Game Loop offers ultra-low input latency, a massive advantage in gunfights. COD Mobile, PUBG Mobile, and Warzone Mobile feel exceptionally responsive, with some of the best mouse aim accuracy available. Its frame stabilizer keeps Warzone Mobile smooth during intense fights. NFS plays well too, but Game Loop shines most in shooters where reaction time matters. Nox Player uses Android 7 by default, with Android 9 available in beta, giving it decent compatibility with newer games. It's heavier than most emulators, so it performs best on stronger hardware, but it handles League of Legends, Wild Rift, Garena Free City, Hitman Go, and NFS reliably with custom key settings. Warzone Mobile runs well on powerful PCs. Nox Player's standout features root mode, macro editor, and deep system tweaks make it ideal for automation and advanced users. In short, Blue Stacks for all around use, LD Player for speed, Moo Moo for low end PCs, Mimu for customization, Game Loop for competitive shooters, and Nox Player for macros and advanced tweaks. That's the top Android emulators of 2025. Which one will you try first? Drop a comment and see you in the next breakdown.